In this video, I'm going to show you how to instantly relieve pinched nerve pain in the shoulder and the arm. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to focus on the two main causes of pinched nerve pain in the shoulder and the arm, which is due to a bulging or herniated disc in the neck and also compression of the nerves themselves in the arm. And to make any relief easy, I'm going to break the video up into a three-part step-by-step -step guide. While each part is different, they are meant to work together and also in order. To get the best results, go through all the exercises and use what gives you the most relief. With that being said, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is focus on loosening up muscle tightness that might be contributing to a pinched nerve in the neck. This is also a very important first step because it's going to increase blood flow, improve circulation to promote healing, which is always a good thing. So let's take our fingers, interlock them just like this, have our thumbs pointed towards the floor. Just put your hands right on the back of your head, position your thumbs right off to the side of the spine below the base of the skull. We want to focus on these muscles first. So you're just going to take your thumbs, press into those muscles to the point where it's going to be a comfortable self-massage but not causing any discomfort and then from there just do a light circular motion just like this I like to do this for about five to ten seconds release it see how I feel if it feels pretty good I just move over a little bit repeating this the whole width of my neck from the side of the spine towards my ears afterwards if that whole top area feels pretty good I just move down towards the middle part of the neck and repeat and then you just want to work down towards the lower part of the neck even into the shoulders. What we're trying to do is find that one pinpoint spot of pain, achiness, or tightness. Like let's say on my right side, I have a big muscle knot right here. At that point, I'm going to stop over that spot and keep repeating this over and over again until it finally releases or I'm not getting any more improvement. And if you do have one spot that's just really stubborn, doesn't want to release, at that point, I would throw in more movements to finally get it to release. So you can hook into the muscle like this, pull it off to the side. You can also go down up, up down. You can do, go diagonally with it. What I would do is throw in as many different movements, target those muscle fibers through as many different movements as possible until you finally get it to release. So let's take this one to the next level by now throwing in some neck movements to open up the neck some more and be able to target the muscles a little bit more also. So what I'm going to focus on are six movements. The first two are rotation, that is taking a look over the shoulder, just like this, left and right. The next two after that are tilting motions, so taking your ear towards your shoulder, left and right. And the last two are flexion, taking your chin towards your chest, and extension, looking upward towards the ceiling. If you have a pinched nerve in your neck that's causing shoulder and arm pain, you're probably going to know pretty quickly which movement just sets it off the most. So like, let's say that I get a lot of pain when I turn to look over my left shoulder. What I'm going to do is build into that movement as much as I can, but stop before the point where I get any more pain, especially sharp pain, going down into the arm. So like, let's say it's right here for me. At that point, I'm going to repeat this massage, targeting the spots that need it the most. What you want to do is with each repetition after five to 10 seconds of massaging it is build into that movement a little bit more because what you're going to notice is you have just a little bit more pain-free range of motion before that pain starts. So just keep doing this over and over again until you're not getting any more improvement. But go through all of those movements, target as many different spots as possible and focus on the ones that offer the most relief. And this is an exercise that you can use throughout the day anytime that you need it. The only thing is, is that if you are building soreness into those muscles, throw enough recovery time in there until it finally goes away before doing it again. So after we have the muscles warmed up and loosened up, we're now going to move on to the second part, which is decompression exercises. Think of a deep opening stretch in the neck that will quickly take pressure off a bulging or herniated disc. I'm going to go over three different ways. The first two you can do standing or seated. So let's break the first method down. What I'm going to do is take two fingers, put them right on my chin, and I'm just going to slowly press my head backward until I feel a light, comfortable stretch in the neck. Once I feel that I'm going to hold that position, take the hand on the other side, place it right on the back of my head. The movement is very straightforward. We're going to press back with our fingers while the hand on the other side 
hooks our head and slowly pulls it downward, taking our chin towards our chest. Do this one slowly because you're going to feel a deep opening stretch in the neck. Once you feel that, you're going to hold this comfortably for 15 to 20 seconds. And during that time period, I would do slow controlled breathing. Just let out as much tension as possible. You're going to relax, take a breather, and then repeat this one three to five times. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. So to take the first movement to the next level, what we can do is add in some neck movements. So the first move, what I would would do is slowly turn your head towards one side shoulder so you just kind of like looking over my left side just like this and then I'm going to repeat this you're going to notice that it opens up the neck just a little bit differently so give that a try towards the left and then also towards the right if you notice any of those positions offer more relief at that point throw more repetitions in the second decompression exercise is going to focus on a little bit more of a deeper stretch working downward into the lower part of our neck into our shoulder and our upper back. So whatever side that you're having the most amount of pain, let's say I have a lot of right-sided arm pain, what you're going to do is take the arm that's having pain, bend your elbow at 90 degrees, and then slide that arm across your lower back as much as you can, and then you're going to grab the other side's arm just like this. At this point, you should feel a really good stretch forming in your upper back shoulder working towards the bottom of the neck. We're going to hold this and now slowly start to lean away from the side of pain. So I like to start with my neck. I'm just going to lean it towards my left side like this and build into this one slowly because you're going to feel a deep opening stretch on that painful side, especially into the neck. Go as far as you can. You're going to hold that and now slowly lean your upper back towards the non-painful side. So pretty much we're leaning our whole upper body away from that side of pain. You want to feel a deep stretch form pretty much from your neck going into your shoulder into your upper back. Once you feel that, hold this one for about 20 seconds, release it, and then repeat this one three to five times. If you would like to take the second movement to the next level, what you can do is add in some neck movements. The first movement that I would focus on is, let's build back into our original stretch, is just slowly looking downward towards the non-painful side's hips. So I'm just rotating my chin and head downward like this to look at that hip. What you should feel is a little bit more of an intense stretch forming from the top of the shoulder into the side of the neck. Another movement you can try is the opposite direction. So we're just going to slowly turn to look upward towards the ceiling. So just take your chin upward like this. Hits the muscles a little bit differently. If you find any of these movements offer more relief, at that point, throw more repetitions in. So let's now move on to the third exercise, which we can do in bed or on a floor. So with the third decompression exercise, we're going to let gravity do all of the hard work. All you need for this one is a large rolled up bat towel, one that's large enough that it will support the curve of your neck. Let's start lying flat on our back in bed or on a floor. Just rest your neck right here on that towel. In this position, you're going to feel gravity pulling the back of your head straight down towards the floor, creating an opening stretch in your neck that will relieve pressure off a pinched nerve. My best advice, relax into this one as much as you can. So just close your eyes, doze off. You can also grab your phone or a book. Just let gravity do all of the hard work. I would try to hold this position for at least three minutes, but if you're able to, hold it for longer, five minutes, even upward towards 10. If you would like to take this one to the next level, what you can do is add in some neck movements to find the position that will offer the most relief. So the first movement, I would just slowly turn your head towards one side shoulder, go towards the left and also towards the right. You can also do a tilting motion, taking your ear towards your shoulder, again, towards the left and also towards the right. If you would like to deepen this stretch, what you can do is take two fingers, put them right underneath your chin and just gently press your chin upward like this, lowering your head further towards the floor. But go slowly with this one because it will really deepen that stretch. But go through all of those movements. You're probably going to find that one position offers the most relief. Maybe you find a position really causes more pain to go down the arm. 
focus on the positions that offer relief and at that point spend more time in that position. In the third part we're going to focus a little bit lower and try to relieve pressure off a pinched nerve in the shoulder or the arm by doing what is called nerve flossing. Flosses are great for opening up the areas where the nerves travel through so it makes it less likely those nerves get pinched from soft tissue tightness or adhesion in the arm. So with this one you can do it standing or seated. Just put your arms straight off to your side like this. The first movement is taking one hand, slowly turning it so your palm is facing towards the ceiling, while the other side the palm will be facing towards the floor. Whatever side has the palm facing towards the floor, what you're going to do is slowly turn your head in that direction until you feel a deep opening stretch in your neck working down towards your shoulder into your arm. Don't go to the point of any more pain or discomfort. If you start to feel that, back off slightly. You're then going to hold this comfortably for a second or two and then flip flop your hands like this while looking towards the other side. You want to do this as a nice fluid movement going back and forth for about 10 to 15 repetitions in both directions. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. Afterwards, see how you feel. If it feels pretty good, you're good to go. But if it needs another set or two, throw in as many repetitions as you need. And this is just a wonderful exercise that you can use throughout the day anytime that you need quick pinched nerve pain relief in the shoulder or the arm. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.